welcome back to Soho. I'm back here because I had so much fun baking here last week with that carrot cake recipe that we made. And I thought it's such an empty big old, I mean, that's a lie, this is not a big old kitchen. This is an incredibly small kitchen, but it's empty and it needs to be baked in. So I have come back to make some cupcakes, to make one of my all time favorite cupcakes, one of our best selling cupcakes here at Crumbs and Doilies. You guys loved it. And that is the cookies and cream cupcake. But I put a little bit of a twist on it because I'm going in with some black cocoa and I'll talk about that a little bit later. So we're gonna start with a very simple cupcake mix. It's a chocolate cupcake, um, just like all the ones we've done before, but with that extra little hint of black cocoa. So we're gonna start with some wet ingredients in a nice large bowl. And I'm gonna start with some buttermilk. So here I've got 125 mils of buttermilk. And buttermilk's one of those ingredients that you might not be able to find that easily, but it's really easy to make a substitute. You just need some whole milk, so 125 mils of whole milk and a squeeze of lemon juice. You wanna squeeze the lemon juice into your milk maybe half an hour before you wanna bake it, and you'll see that it thickens to a pretty similar consistency of buttermilk, so a perfect replacement. So I'm gonna go straight in with this into my large bowl. And then into that, we're gonna add the same quantity of coffee. So I've got 125 mils of coffee, which I made earlier, um, and I've let it cool down completely. And we're gonna pour that into the buttermilk. And then into that, 105 mils of vegetable oil or sunflower oil. You wanna go with a clear, kind of flavorless oil. Olive oil is just too much of a strong flavor. So that's also going in. And now, finally, we've got two eggs. Now, I've got two small eggs here, um, but if you can only find medium or large, don't worry. I'm just gonna crack them in here just before, because I really don't wanna get any shell into my batter. So, two eggs going straight in. Now all we need to do is whisk this together. So all we're doing here is combining the ingredients. We're not looking to whip it or get it thick or anything like that, you just wanna combine it. And now we can go in with some dry ingredients. So I've already mixed all my dry ingredients together, um, but don't worry, we'll put the full description of all the ingredients and quantities in the description box below. So like I mentioned earlier, I'm actually using a black cocoa, which is why my mixture here looks a little bit gray, <laughs> but black cocoa is so exciting. I'm kind of a little bit obsessed with it at the moment. It adds this really intense chocolate flavor to your bakes, and it also makes them really deep in color, which is perfect for our cookies and cream because Oreos are really deep in color. So you can find black cocoa online, um, but if you can't, you can just use regular cocoa powder. But we have added this cookies and cream um, cupcake to our online baking kits, which has got the black cocoa in there. So if you wanna buy one of these, maybe you don't want like an entire bag of black cocoa. So I'll put a link at the end um, over to cupcakegemma.com and you can get yourself one of these and bake along. So anyway, what we're gonna do now is just combine our dry and our wet. So I'm just gonna pour all my dry into the wet and whisk it around. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna agree that that looks pretty awesome, right? It's like black, but without having to use food coloring or anything. So now we just need to put this into our cupcake pan. So I've got a regular cupcake pan here with 12 um, cupcake cases in it. And this is obviously really liquidy and it's gonna be quite hard to distribute. So I'm gonna pour it into a jug to help me do it. There we go, so if you've got a little bit of batter left, just spend a little bit of time evening them all out to make sure they're all gonna come out exactly the same size. And as you can see, I always use this spoon to help me kind of scoop so it's not gonna go everywhere because I do know it is very messy doing this. And now it's ready to bake them. So oven's already preheated, it's at 160 degrees C. Always preheat it to make sure the whole oven is nice and warm before we put them in. And I'm gonna go for 22 minutes to start with. I'm gonna check them by pushing my finger on top. If they spring back to life, they're done. If they sink, we'll just put them in for another minute or so. Okay, 
Okay, so whilst our cupcakes are in the oven, we can make our buttercream. And we're gonna make an Oreo buttercream, a chunky Oreo buttercream with some big old chunks in the icing because do you know what one of my favorite things is? Is an Oreo milkshake because you get all those really nice chunky nuggets in it. So that's why I've gone for the chunky icing here. So we're gonna start as usual with some soft butter. So I've got 200 grams of soft unsalted butter here. And we're gonna start by whipping it up till it's nice and fluffy. And I'm gonna do this with a hand whisk because it's a very small amount of icing. We don't need to use a stand mixer. If you don't even have one of these, you can just do it with your arm power. And we're gonna whip it until it's really white, fluffy. Okie doke, so that's looking nice and creamy and smooth. So we're gonna start adding icing sugar. So here I have got 320 grams of icing sugar. I've already sifted it, and I'm gonna, as usual, add it in two halves, whipping it really well in between each addition. Okay, and by this stage, you'll probably be feeling like it's really quite stiff, and the idea of kind of icing a cake or cupcakes with that is uh, not a good one. <laughs> so we're gonna loosen this up with some milk. Um, and the milk also, or the liquid that you add to your buttercream, is also gonna help the sugar to completely dissolve, so you end up with a really lovely, smooth buttercream. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon at a time, and just kind of go for the consistency, and I'll show you what I want it to look like when I've got there. So you can already see that's starting to loosen. I'm just gonna go for another two tablespoons and then I think we'll be there and we can add our Oreos. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So if we take a look, it's nice and spreadable, but it's not so liquidy that it's just gonna fall apart when we try and ice with it. So, for Oreo time, like I said, I've gone for nice chunky chunks, and this is what we've included in the kits, but if you want a kind of smoother buttercream, by all means, just crush them up a bit. You can do this kind of with a rolling pin, or you could put them in a bag and kind of smash them around till you've got a really fine crumb, but I really want chunky nuggets in mine. There we go. I could honestly eat that with a spoon. It looks great, it smells great. Um, but also, if you are thinking of making your buttercream a day before or a couple of days before you're gonna use it, I would hold back on putting your Oreos in until just before you wanna use it, particularly if you want it chunky like me, because you'll find that if you leave it in there, the next day, the biscuits are gonna be a little bit soggy and they'll actually just mix completely into your icing. So hold back on your Oreos. Right, so we are ready now. All we need to do is wait for our cupcakes to bake, finish baking and cool down. Um, good chance to have a bit of a clean up and then we'll come back and get decorating. So let's start by checking if these have baked. What we're gonna do, push down. You can see it's springing back to life. They all look nice and even. So now we just need to let these cool down completely, which will take about half an hour. <laughs> Okay, so it's time for the best bit. Other than eating, the best bit is obviously decorating. So, most important part of an Oreo is the cream filling, of course. So that's what we're gonna do with our cupcakes. So first, we need to cut some holes in the middle. The best tool I've found is an apple corer, but I completely understand that not everyone's got one of these. So if you get the end of a teaspoon, you can sort of cut out a hole with your teaspoon, and we're gonna go right in the middle. It's just about halfway down, like this. And I just love the colour of these. These are 
actually look exactly like an Oreo. So pretty excited about that. Obviously don't throw your little insides away. You can give those to someone that can't wait for you to get to the end of your cupcakes. <laughs> so now we're gonna fill them with cream. So I've whipped some double cream here, about 100 mils with about a teaspoon of icing sugar just to sweeten it a little bit, also helps to stabilize it. And now we need to put this in a piping bag. So on Tuesday, I showed you guys how to make a piping bag. So I'll just show you really quickly here. We've got our triangle. We're gonna join all three points. So we're gonna get up to the center here, and then we're gonna wrap the other piece all the way around the back like this. Pull the three points together, and then we fold it once, fold it twice to secure it. And there we have our piping bag. So now, I just need to get this cream into this on my own. <laughs> it's a problem with social distancing, there's no one to help me fill my piping bag. So I'm just gonna pinch the end so that it doesn't come gushing out as I pour it in. Do a little bit of time. Back our cupcakes. Right, here we go. and now it's buttercream time. So I am gonna pipe mine on and I'm gonna use this big round nozzle here. Um, if you are doing the chunky icing like I am and you wanna use a star, it's gonna be really tricky because the chunks of Oreo are gonna get stuck in them. So I would recommend going for a nice large round one or you could even do this by hand with a spatula or a teaspoon. Now I'm gonna do a nice big round blob on each of my cupcakes. Okay, so cupcakes iced. They're a little bit lumpy bumpy, but don't worry, they're supposed to look like this. It's because we've gone for our chunky Oreo icing. And now I'm just gonna finish them off with a little chocolate drizzle. So I've got another tiny piping bag here, which I've put some melted chocolate in. I'm gonna drizzle these across. Now this wouldn't be an Oreo cake without an actual Oreo, so I'm gonna put half an Oreo on top of each cupcake. Okay, I promise we have finally finished, but it's gonna be worth it. So let's peel it back. Look at the color of this sponge and it looks really soft and moist. I'll let you know if it is. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I can't talk because I've got chocolate on my face. <laughs> this is an absolute hit. No wonder this is your favourite, why we used to sell so many of them to you here at C&D Soho. And hopefully one day in the not so far future, we'll also have these back on the counter for you guys. Uh, in the meantime, please bake them, or if you wanna head over to Cupcake Gemma and have a look at the kit, we've got everything you need in there. We've even got the cutest, tiniest bag of chocolate chips, um, which you should just buy because the bag is really cute and I love it. <laughs> but we've also got the Oreos, um, some grease proof so you can make your piping bags. It's all super exciting, so head over there, see what else we've got. Um, keep tagging us in your photos on Instagram. We've got me, at Sally Dells, at Cupcake Gemma, and of course, hashtag Cupcake Gemma, so we can all see your photos. And please do subscribe to our channel. There's a button somewhere around here that says subscribe. You wanna punch that, and then click on the bell next to it so that you get notifications every time we upload so you don't miss any of our videos. Um, we'll be back very soon with some more recipes for you guys. Hopefully, the C&D doors will be open very soon for you guys too, so you can come down and say hey to us because we miss you guys like crazy. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks to Sam as well for filming and editing as always. He's the one that makes all of this look good. I'm just getting to make stuff and eat stuff, and then he takes it away so it makes it look good. So thank you so much. Much time and we'll see you guys soon with some more funsies.